Coach Winkle John was speaking about John Jones to the media, and he said that John has no interest in Stipe. Now, to let you know where that's coming from, Dana let the cat out of the bag during media this last week, pre-press conference, post-press conference, something in between, that Stipe and John Jones is being looked at, that Stipe has already accepted the fight. Dana then laid out, right? The obvious thing that we would be wondering is, well, did John? What did John say? Dana didn't touch it. He just said that fight's being looked at and Stipe has accepted it. Okay. So Wink, I believe, is coming out to put that final touch on there to let us know that Jones is not. Jones put out a tweet that said champion 2022. So I think we can deduce based on the evidence that we have that John is not going to go and fight Stipe. How long is John going to be a top contender that can just walk in and grab the belt? It will be for a while. It, it will be wait your turn like it is now. It'll be wait until Surreal and Derek get done. Okay, great. They're done. Am I up? Well, no. Now we're going to do Surreal versus Francis. Okay, great. Am I up after that? Well, possibly. We're going to see how that goes. And then, of course, we're not going to turn our back on Miocic, who everybody agrees is the number one contender since his only loss is to the current champion, and he's beaten him before. I mean, just one of those things. Well, how long do you want to wait? Do you guys ever see those Westerns when you were growing up? But they all ended the same way, which is the cowboy riding off into the sunset. He doesn't even take the time to say goodbye. They fade to black. They roll the credits. I feel in many ways that that is where John Jones's career is headed. He's in a very strange purgatory right now in that he has not identified a weight class. We believe heavy. He has no opponent. Every opponent he's been offered, he has turned down. And most importantly, he's not licensed. He is in the USADA pool. That is the only sign that we have that John even has a pulse in this sport still. You all know that Khabib is retired. You all know Chael's retired. Do you want to know what Chael and Khabib have in common? We don't have licenses. Just like John. So it's one of these interesting things. Where is he trying to back out the door? And if that's the case, we got to let him go. And not only let him go, if we're going to be fair, when you tell him, great job. So, man, that was one hell of a career and give him his due. If he's going to come back, then we are within our rights. To say who we think is going to win, how that fight is going to go, what makes you think you can sit out for years when your last fights have all been split decisions with much smaller guys who don't have a meaningful place even in that division anymore? What makes you think you can sit out, change divisions, walk back into a title fight, and have a level of success? That's all fair game. All of that dialogue is fair. And there will be a time, right? The hard part that John is learning right now is as much and big as you think that fan base is, they're not loyal. They can't be. A fan can't be loyal. A fan has an energy. He wants to attach to something that he aspires to be like. So if that commodity's gone, the fan doesn't just go away too. The fan's still there. They've just got to attach to something else. And that's what John is, is finding, that he has some fans. They're not loyal fans. They shouldn't be. You're the one, as the athlete who's removed himself from the equation, you're the one that wronged the fans, not the other way around. Then you have the influx of new fans. And a fan, no matter how much they like somebody, is looking for the next thing at all times. The fan is always looking for what and who is next because that's what allows the fan's career to extend. If the fan stays attached to an aging athlete who has no license and who is turning down fights, that ends the career of the fan. So the fan, like anything, is going to try to survive which is why they attach themselves to something else and to what's next. I only bring it to you because there will be good news for John. That will come back. So this isn't an insult to John. It's just the natural ebb and flow, and it will come back. There will be, it could be 10 years from now. We're seeing it with Mike Tyson right now. We're seeing a little bit of dialogue around Evander Holyfield. We're seeing it with Roy Jones. There's something there. It just takes a period of time, and your window and your opportunities are now gone. Something that really needs considered. I bring Gable into this because Gable could be the biggest star in the sport within one year, and a year is like that. I predict for you he's going to go a different path. So Real Gong is now the one that's in demand. He's now the hot item ticket right now. 
but there's three and four guys, five guys that are already signed. They're already identified. They're already co under contract in the UFC. They just haven't yet emerged. It's coming. Get the fights you can get. Win the fights that you can win when you can win them. Don't wait.